chapter 9 biomolecules to find the composition of elements in living tissue we take a liver and grind it in dash using a mortal or pestle to obtain a slurry so we grind it in trichloroacetic acid when we strain this slurry through a dash or dash we would obtain two fractions when we strain this slurry through a cheese cloth or cotton how can we know that the living tissue also have inorganic compounds by burning the living tissue will oxidize all the carbon compounds and what will remain will be elements like calcium iron etc po4 3 minus and so4 2 minus are some or inorganic constituents of living tissue yes true elements which are present in more percent in human body than in the earth's crust are so these are carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and sulfur there is a chart given in ncert identify the organic compounds found in living tissue shown in diagram 1 So here in diagram one, A is alanine, B is serine, C is glycine, D is uracil, E is adenine, F is thymine, G is guanine, H is cytosine, I is phospholipid, lecithin. Amino acids are situated methanes. The four substituent in a amino acid are so they are hydrogen, carboxylic group. amino group and a variable group designated as r group how many types of amino acids occur in proteins 20 amino acid name when r group is methyl alanine amino acid name when r group is hydroxyl methyl serine amino acid name when r group is hydrogen glycine amino acid acidic amino acid examples glutamate and aspartate basic amino acid examples lysine and arginine neutral amino acid examples valine glycine alanine leucine isoleucine aromatic amino acid examples tyrosine phenylalanine tryptophan zwitter means dash this property is present in so zwitter means hermaphrodite and this property is present in amino acid a fatty acid has a dash group attached to an r group it has a carbon carboxylic group attached to an r group palmitic acid has dash number of carbons excluding the carboxylic group so it includes 15 number of carbons excluding the carboxylic group 20 carbons are present in dash acid in arachidonic acid unsaturated fat means it have one or more c double bond c bond glycerol is chemically dash it is trihydroxy propane gingelly oil has a high melting point false very low melting point example of phospholipids example of phospholipids is phosphatidylcholine which is lecithin and phosphatidyl thano thanol amine so basically lecithin is an example fats and oils are distinguished based on melting point phospholipids are found in so they are found in cell membrane neural tissues have more complex lipids like dash which have dash instead of glycerol as a backbone so neural tissues have more complex lipids like sphingolipids which have sphingosin this is not an ncert sphingomyelin is a type of dash which consists of dash as head group it is it is a type of sphingolipid which consists of phosphodiethyl amine as a head group this is also not an ncert nitrogen is bases when attached to sugar form dash and when attached also to dash form nucleotide so nitrogen is bases when attached to sugar form nucleoside and when at attached also to the phosphate form nucleotides nucleoside version of adenine is called adenosine version nucleoside version of cytosine is called cytidine of thymine is called thymidine of uracil is called uridine of cytosine it is called cytidylic acid this is very important flavonoids are primary metabolites no false types of secondary metabolites are alkaloids flavonoids rubber essential oils antibiotics colored pigments scents gums and spices examples of pigments carotenoids and anthocyanins example of alkaloids alkaloids examples are morphine or codeine example of terpenoids Terpenoids are monoterpenes and diterpenes. Example of essential oils: lemongrass oil. Curcumin is a dash type of secondary metabolite. Is drug. These curcumin is a drugs. 
type of secondary metabolite example of toxins toxins are abrin and ricin concavalin a is a dash so it is a lectin example of drugs vinblastin and curcumin example of polymeric substance rubber gums and cellulose no secondary metabolites have ecological importance no this is false compounds found in acid soluble pool have molecular weights ranging from dash to dash daltons 18 to 800 daltons what are the compounds in acid insoluble pool proteins nucleic acids polysaccharides and lipids define micro molecules and macro molecules micro molecules are less than 1000 dalton and macro molecules are found in acid insoluble pool acid insoluble pool have molecular weight in the range of dash or above 10000 daltons lipids are not strictly macro molecules or micro molecules so lipids are not strictly macro molecules the acid soluble pool represents roughly the composition of cytoplasm the macro molecules from cytoplasm and organelles becomes the acid insoluble fraction yes true most abundant chemical in living organisms is it is water dash is 10 to 15% of the total cell mass so proteins are 10 to 15% carbohydrates are dash percent of the total cell mass 3% lipids are dash percent of the total cell mass so lipids are 2% nucleic acids are dash percent of the total cell mass 5 to 7% what percent of water in a cell 70 to 90% protein polysaccharide and nucleic acid protein is a homopolymer or heteropolymer so protein is a heteropolymer what is the difference between homopolymer and heteropolymer homopolymers have same monomers but heteropolymers have different types of monomers define essential amino acids Amino acids which cannot be synthesized by our body hence has to be taken from outside are called essential amino acids name the essential amino acids so there are 10 essential amino acids according to ncert these are histidine isoleucine leucine lysine methionine phenylalanine threonine tryptophan arginine and valine function of glut4 is it enables glucose transport into the cells dash function as an intercellular ground substance collagen most abundant protein in animal world is collagen most abundant protein in the whole biosphere is rubisco polysaccharide is an acid soluble or acid insoluble pool so it is an acid insoluble pool cellulose is a polymer of glucose inulin is a polymer of fructose dash is a storehouse of energy in plant tissues starch polysaccharide which store energy in animals glycogen in a polysaccharide chain the right end is called reducing or non reducing so the right end is reducing and the left end is non reducing cellulose forms helical secondary structures no false starch forms not cellulose starch hold i2 molecules in dash in helical structure so the starch i2 is dash in color is blue in color exoskeleton of arthropods have complex polysaccharide called chitin example of amino sugars n acetyl glucose amine and n acetyl galactose amine complex polysaccharides are mostly homopolymers or heteropolymers so they are mostly homopolymers chitin is a homo or heteropolysaccharide of dash so chitin is a homopolysaccharide of n acetyl glucose amine nag nucleic acid is found in acid soluble or acid insoluble pool so it is found in acid insoluble pool building block of nucleic acid is nucleotides components of nucleotides are nitrogen is base monosaccharide and phosphate a and g are substituted purines in deoxyribose the oxygen is removed from dash position to dash position nitrogen is bases which are substituted pyrimidine are cytosine thymine and uracil identify the various levels of protein structure shown in diagram 2 label p q r s and t so here is the diagram 2 where a is the primary structure where p is the polypeptide b is the secondary structure where q is the alpha helix and b is beta plated sheath and c is the tertiary structure where s is hydrogen bond and t is disulfide bond d is the quaternary structure the sequence of amino acids i e the positional information in a protein is given in dash structure in primary structure the right end is represented as first or last amino acid and left end by dash amino acid so the right end is represented as last amino acid and the left end by first amino acid n terminal amino acid is first or last amino acid so it is first amino acid last amino acid is called p 
free terminal amino acid. In protein, both left and right handed helices are observed. Yes, true. There can be structure examples are alpha helix and beta pleated sheet. The long protein chain is also folded upon itself like a hollow woolen ball, giving rise to dash structure, giving rise to tertiary structure. Tertiary structure gives a 2D or 3D view of protein. Gives a 3D view of protein. Dash structure is absolutely necessary for many biological activities of protein tertiary structure. The manner in which the individual folded polypeptides or subunits are arranged with respect to each other is the structure of a protein, otherwise called dash structure of a protein. Quaternary structure of a protein. Adult hemoglobin consists of how many subunits? Four subunits. Name the subunits of hemoglobin alpha subunit and beta subunit. Example of tertiary structure myoglobin. Example of quaternary structure hemoglobin. Number of peptide bond present in tripeptide is 2. In a polysaccharide, the individual monosaccharides are linked by dash bond by a glycosidic bond. In a nucleic acid, dash links the 3 dash carbon of one sugar of one nucleotide to the 5 dash carbon of the sugar of succeeding nucleotide, a phosphate. In nucleotides, the bond between the phosphate and hydroxyl group of sugar is called the dash bond, is called the ester bond. Phosphoester bond is present in DNA. No, false, because phosphodiester bond is present, not phosphoester bond. Dash model exhibit one of the secondary structure of DNA, Watson Crick. The two strands of polynucleotides are parallel. False, they are anti-parallel. The backbone is formed by sugar phosphate sugar chain. The number of hydrogen bond between A and T is, is 2. Number of hydrogen bond between G and C is 3. Percentage of T in RNA if percentage of C is 40%, so it will be 0% because RNA have uracil instead of thymine. Percentage of A in DNA if percentage of G is 30%, so percentage of A will be 20%. When we methylate dash, thymine is formed. When we methylate uracil. In BDNA, at each step, the strand turns dash degrees 36 degrees. One full turn of helical strand would involve dash base pairs, would involve 10 base pairs. The pitch of BDNA is 3.4 nanometer. Six base pair long DNA have dash nanometer length, have 2.04 nanometer length. There is no uncatalyzed metabolic conversion in living system. Yes, true. Metabolic pathways are always circular, not linear. False, they can be both circular or linear. Metabolic pathways crisscross each other. Yes, true. Flow of metabolites to metabolic pathway has a definite trait and direction. Yes, true. Dash is called the dynamic state of body constituents. Metabolic, metabolite flow. Anabolic or catabolic pathways consume energy. Anabolic pathways consume energy. Metabolic pathway from glucose to lactic acid which occurs in dash number of steps is called dash. So it occurs in 10 number of steps and it is called glycolysis. The blood concentration of glucose in normal healthy individual is 4.2 to 6.1 mm. The living state is a non-equilibrium state. Yes, true. Define living state. Living state is a non-equilibrium steady state to be able to perform work. Without metabolism, there cannot be a living state. Yes, true. Enzymes. Identify A, B, X and Y in the graph shown in diagram 3. So here in diagram 3, X is substrate, Y is transition state, Z is the product. A is the activation energy without the enzyme and B is activation energy with the enzyme. Enzyme through their dash catalyze reactions at a higher rate through their active site. Non-proteinaceous enzyme examples, ribozyme. One can depict an enzyme by a line diagram. Yes, true. Rate can also be called velocity if the direction is specified. Yes, true. Difference between inorganic catalyst and enzymes. So the difference is that inorganic catalysts work efficiently at high temperatures and high pressures while enzymes get damaged at high temperatures. The enzyme isolated from organisms who normally live under extremely high temperatures denature at high temperatures. No false, they do not denature. Each enzyme shows its highest activity at a particular temperature and pH called the optimum temperature and optimum pH. Yes, true. A general rule is rate doubles for every dash degree Celsius increase for every 10 degrees increase. Enzyme used to convert water and CO2 to H2CO3 is carbonic anhydrase. Enzyme used to, sorry, the AS complex formation is a transient or non-transient phenomena. So it is a transient phenomena. All other intermediate structure states are unstable. Yes, true. How does enzyme bring such high rates of chemical conversions? By reducing the activation energy needed. What is the catalytic cycle of enzyme reactions? So E plus S, enzyme plus substrate, gives ES, gives EP, 
gives E plus P product. The activity of an enzyme can be affected by a change in the conditions which can alter the dash structure of a protein which can alter the tertiary structure of the protein. What does the y-axis represent in the graph given in diagram 4? So here in the diagram 4, y-axis <coughs> gives the enzyme activity. The graph given in diagram 5 shows the effect of change in concentration of substrate on enzyme activity identify x, y and z. So here in diagram 5, x is v maximum, y is v maximum by 2, z is km. Factors affecting enzyme activity are temperature, pH, concentration of substrate and inhibitors. Low temperature preserves the enzyme in a permanently inactive state. No falls in a temporarily inactive state, not permanently. With increase in substrate concentration, velocity of enzymatic reaction rises always. No falls do not rise after attaining V maximum. When the inhibitor closely resembles the substrate in its molecular structure, it is known as Competitive inhibitor. Competitive inhibitors are often used in the control of bacterial pathogens. Yes, true. Example of competitive inhibition, the inhibition of succinic dehydrogenase by malonate. Sulfide drugs for inhibition of folic acid synthesis in bacteria. Enzymes are divided into dash number of classes into six number of classes with dash to dash number of subclasses with 10 to 30 number of subclasses and name accordingly by dash digit number by a four digit number. Name the six classes of enzyme with their examples. So these are oxidoreductases or dehydrogenases. Example, lactate dehydrogenase. Tra second is transferases, for example, transaminase or kinase. Then third is hydrolases, for example, amylase and lipase. Then fourth is lyase. Example is aldolase and carbonic anhydrase. Then fifth is isomerase. Example is phosphoglucose isomerase. Then sixth is ligase. Example is RUBP carboxylase and PP carboxylase. Enzymes are catalyzed removal of groups from substrate by mechanisms other than hydrolysis, leaving double bonds are called lyses. Enzymes catalyzing the linking together of two compounds are called ligases. Define transferases. Enzymes catalyzing a transfer of a group G other than the hydrogen between a pair of substrate S and S dash. Define isomerases. Includes all enzyme catalyzing interconversion of optical, geometrical, or positional isomers. What are cofactors? Cofactors are non-protein constituents bound to the enzyme to make the enzyme catalytically active. What is an apoenzyme? The protein portion of the enzyme is called the apoenzyme. Name three types of cofactors, prosthetic group, coenzyme and metal ions. Dash are organic or inorganic com compounds and are tightly bound to the apoenzyme. So, prosthetic groups are organic compounds and are tightly bound to the apoenzyme. Dash is the prosthetic group in peroxidase and catalase, HEM. Function of peroxidase and catalase is the breakdown of H2O2 to water and oxygen. Dash are organic or inorganic compounds, but association with epoenzyme is only transient. So, uh, coenzyme are organic compounds, but association with epoenzyme is only transient. Example of coenzymes NAD and NADP. The essential chemical components of many coenzymes are dash. Example are vitamins. Example niacin. Metal ions from dash bonds with dash at the active site and at the same time form one or more coordination bonds with the dash. So metal ions form coordinate bonds with the side chains at the active site and at the same time form one or more coordinate bonds with the substrate. Zinc Zn is a cofactor of carboxypeptidase. Maltose formula C12H22O11. Catalytic activity is lost when cofactor is removed from the enzyme. Yes, true. Chapter complete. Thank you.